Hi guys, Togo here with a new video and this video will be a holy paladin kind of solo shuffle video but I wanted to talk about the uh, real problem about MMR currently in solo shuffle and I don't know whenever they are going to fix that but um, it's mostly how uh, new accounts and new... how can I say? new characters or new fresh MMR players sometimes get in lobbies that they should really not get into and it could be because of previous MMR uh, they got from previous seasons and whatnot but I think just in general um, they should kind of do a soft reset every single uh, season because uh, a real soft reset so what I mean is uh, you get zero CR every second season, right? But your hidden MMR is um, still around the same-ish MMR you got from previous season. So if you got like 2.2k previous season, you would have around 2k this season, even though you haven't played one game. And uh, if you came like very late into the season, what do you know? You are like low geared and you have nothing going on. And then I checked the... Uh, like leaderboards like I like you see on the video and he has currently zero rating and then I saw the HP he has 930k HP which is very low and I see okay he's fully green geared uh, this is going to be a very tough match man uh, I was a bit pissed at that moment because I knew like this this is going to be a 3-3 uh, a, a equal like wins kind of uh, match and it was a very very close knit match because again we're playing versus a priest versus a destruction warlock elemental shaman and an outlaw rogue so uh, an enhancement shaman excuse me but he's playing elementalist build so my bobs do nothing versus them um so it was very very hard whenever the warrior was in my team it was like a really really tough match and uh, whenever the uh, warrior was against me it was still a tough match because again uh, one of those DPSers like did like plenty of damage that I kind of could not stop with Bob and Bob doesn't really do anything if like the disc priest like instant dispel it with a lot of luck like I, I, I seen multiple Bobs of mine like instantly dispelled now this one it doesn't get dispelled but I'm playing versus like Enhancement Shaman and Destruction Warlock, so this is not really dampening too much, like, damage-wise. And again, I'm, I'm very, very, very rusty on my Holy Paladin. has been a while I didn't play Holy Paladin as well. So, um, it still feels, like, unnatural again. But uh, I try I try to play again, like World of Warcraft, try to play Healer, try to play DPS, play a bit of uh, BM Hunter. Uh, but I, I try to get back onto the grind, but I, I'm going to be honest, it's very hard to be very motivated. Um, I do see a, a little bit less of DH, so I guess the nerf kind of dampened the uh, amount of DHs I see, but the amount of DHs I do see, they still do the same kind of damage. So I feel like it's a placebo, kind of nocebo, kind of uh, uh, patch, like buff, nerf. Uh, we were very close of ending this uh, round with a win, but I, I was pissed, man. I, I, felt, I felt like something was not really right. Um, I kn already knew the outcome and I had to fight to not go 2-4, which would ruin my MMR. Uh, like I had 2k MMR with like 1900. Um, big surprise. Um, the MMR increase w is working. Um, I did lose a lot of like points before like this the the the, the break I, I got like I was like close to 2.1k as a holy paladin and I ended up uh, like at 1900 so um, we're, we're trying to get back on the grind but um, yeah you see like the match is not going well and I think like I said MMR wise it is very much of a problem but also for healers I think healers like going 3-3 is really common like I think before that match I already did a 3-3 so I off it, it is just too common and uh, um, I think the only solution because I don't think they will ever do a 3-3 so a draw where you do gain MMR and do gain CR uh, often not you gain CR if your MMR is higher but your MMR doesn't move and often you do tank a bit um, but um, 
I think what they need to do is maybe step away from the uh, rounds. And again, I understand that people do like that. I do also like the six rounds. Why? Because I feel like I have more of a chance on the lobby because you could have a very bad comp. And if you lose that one round, since it is just a one rounder, uh, you would lose MMR for nothing. That's true. Uh, and if, if you had six rounds, you could maybe like win more games. Um, but I do think like it brings other problems that are very tough to to fix. Like for example, MMR. I think the MMR is very tough to to have like a fair system when uh, six rounds counts for individual MMR gains. And obviously, if you're doing one game and it's six rounds and you do draw, it will never really make you feel like you did anything that game. It would be a status quo where you basically just played for a free, like your time is just not spent. Uh, that is that is how I feel right now. Um, I'm looking at the screen like because I'm looking at the gameplay, right? And uh, I do feel like, again... I think it could have been just a one rounder. It would have been uh, better for like most of the party members. I, I would say also for the warrior because again he he went through uh, six rounds of just pure misery, and I imagine as a warrior how he could have fe felt being like the target every single time and being the the victim. I would say. Um, uh, there, there is no magical solution. He cannot really um, choose the MMR that he starts, right? Um, so it's tough to to say like, look, he is the one that is bad or whatever, because he he is zero CR. So by any means, he could just be in a fifty what like fifteen hundred MMR uh, lobby, and it would be fair for him because the gear probably would be. Uh, less of an issue, but at 2k everyone is fully geared first and foremost, but also Often not players are I guess a bit better than like 1500 and 1600 So the gear will be mattering a bit more because people utilize that gear a bit better uh, So obviously uh, that that is a problem, uh, but I do feel like um, they, they should do something about soul shuffle, but th that's a, that's a, the issue I have with like season 4 but also war within where the communication around Soul Shuffle, their new toy, um, is just null. Uh, it just feels like it is not abandoned, but I would say like they, they are satisfied about current system. And if it is satisfying for them, they should also tell us like, look, Soul Shuffle, how they are and how it is. That's how we imagine it and we are not going to improve it because there is nothing to improve. And then I would like say, okay, now I understand their vision and um, if they are feeling like it's okay and they have like stats for that and whatever, well, it is what it is. Then I have to adapt myself. But what I have currently like uh, in mind is more or less like it feels they are uh, oblivious and just not seeing uh, the things that I'm seeing. Um, that's, that, that, that is the current, current concern I have. Uh, people are like still talking about war within hero, hero talents, delves, whatever, but they, they could talk about what we have right now, and those are real issues. I think like hero talents are nowhere near like a, an issue currently, uh, because again, I'm living in the now, I'm not living in eight months, and uh, right now it feels like gameplay is all right. Uh, but the, the 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 rewards, the reward structure, and how it feels to play, and and um, how terrible it feels to just even win, is not there. Uh, so again, they should see and make it feel better to play the game first. So what does it mean? It does it mean like if you're winning, it should feel good, and if you're losing. I'm not saying that it necessarily should feel bad, but it should feel bad to a certain extent if you want to be a competitive game. Um, but I think the reward should be way higher than the punishment. So it means that if you're losing, uh, it should feel bad, but it should not be so crushing. It feels like if you lose a game, it could be uh, like days of progress, like being gone. And it does the same for League of Legends and Dota, whatever. Because again, MMR systems are like this, and one losing streak could just like ruin a lot of stuff. But uh, I, I think 
if you reward the players correctly, um, it should not feel as bad. Um, again, there are multiple suggestions to rewards. Like I said, uh, it could be like Solo Shuffle has a separate mount uh, with a recolor, whatever, and it's a cool mount as well that you could mount like a glad mount. Um, and w what they could do is also have like a separate achievement where um, both glad and legend is attained, and then you have like the ultimate uh, mount, and then you have like really uh, people trying to push um, both brackets to get the ultimate mount they could do the same for twos they could do the same for rbgs and in the future solo queue rbgs and don't let me like talk about solo queue rbgs because this would be a very long video but uh, i think like the communication is still like a dull it feels like they are living in the in the future which is good i guess like having war within being like the the golden egg is very good but it, again it's it, like we are currently in march it's going to be in September minimum, I think maximum November. So it's between six to nine uh, eight months, which is a bit terrible if you uh, feel like you have to look forward to uh, like in six or eight months uh, before you have like a real thing going on. And again, I understand it is the first season we have Soul Shuffle. It's also the first season they actually added a new competitive mode since Cataclysm because Cataclysm was the expansion where we got RPGs. Uh, 2v2 was already there since TBC, uh, 3v3 was also there since TBC, uh, they removed 5v5 um, so that was removed but they never really added something and Soul Shuffle is a new thing that got added so I guess they have to work on it or they, they might say, look, it's all Soul Shuffle in Dragonflight, it was not a success, we're going to remove it. Which I doubt, because I think um, play-wise and the amount of people playing the game uh, are focused around Soul Shuffle. So obviously, they are not going to say that. They're going to say, look, Soul Shuffle is going to be the main mode with 3v3 or being 3v3 on the background. I would like to have 3v3 still a main mode with Soul Shuffle, so they have like both being important instead of like saying uh, this one is more important than the other and that's why i'm saying like you have to add rewards towards soul shuffle without impacting the rewards too glad but you you, st you still need rewards like to soul shuffle you want to reward players to spend time in soul shuffle and to get better and to actually progress i'm not saying like you have to add only top end rewards like like legends you could also like add rewards to duelist and to elite i've seen like a, a good suggestion which i guess some people don't like it but uh if you get duelist you get a token where you can buy a previous set you could like you, you could not obtain through vendors so for example a recolor from uh season two season one season three whatever and you could like use that token for that uh but i i think that's a good suggestion but anyways Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you. Um, it was me really talking about MMR and more or less the reward structure and how they could improve in Soul Shuffle. But I think MMR-wise, it's a big problem. They could, they could fix it by saying, look, every season there is a soft reset. Everyone, even Glads, even Legends, even whatever, starts at 1500 and the inflation starts in. So if you're chain winning and you're like really progressing, your win rate is high, you get higher. If your win rate is like like 50%, then you're still going to climb to a certain rating where the inflation is going to go in. And if you're lower than 50%, then you're going to stagnate or you're not going to climb, you're going to decline. Um, but again, it, it it's they complicated themselves with a soft reset which is not really a soft reset where you have people like starting at 2k mmr while clearly they are not 2k so it's it's difficult um but again mmr uh, as long as they don't really do a real talk and and a real conversation be like behind it and trying to make it an improvement and try to make it an open conversation between the players and the devel devils uh, developers I think uh, we're going to have like a difficult time to to progress, but that is, that that is really what is on my mind right now. Um, I'm going to try to make more content. 
um, more discussion videos, but also more um, casual videos, I guess, like with BGs and World PvP and such. But I'm kind of waiting for the new patch and see what is up. Um, uh, my my expectations are really really low, so I'm not going to be disappointed. I think uh, they they will have to try hard to disappoint me because I'm already going in disappointed. So, uh, but eh, anyways, we we cannot do too much about it. Hopefully, we get alpha really soon so I can cover it and kind of show you what's new about the classes and uh, systems eventually. Um, but we'll have to see for maybe next month or maybe two months later. Then you have your Cataclysm also, which is also going, going to be quite fun to play, so we'll have to see. But anyways, thank you for watching, have a great day, be sure to stay safe. We will catch up probably very soon in the next video, have a great day, bye.